Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Tech Medic. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing an entire box of Paradox Rift. I just want to give a big thank you to everyone out there that has been supporting me through my TCG card shop. And uh, it allows me to do stuff like this to add to my collection of Pokemon cards. I just want to say thank you, God bless you, and I hope that we pull something great today. So let's go ahead and see what we have here first. We got a basic, Hone Edge, Dubal, Horsey, Curse Duster, Ferrothorn, Ortle B, a Reverse Plessy, Countercatcher, and an Iron Hugulus. All right, we had a plenty of those inside of the uh, Temple of Horses, but we're going to go ahead and check this one out. Here, if I can get it out of the pack. <clears throat> In case you guys were wondering, I did go ahead and make a YouTube uh, series that for every purchase of the cards that I do get, I am making a short special thank you video for individuals that made a purchase and I am going out into the wilds to go ahead and find that particular Pokemon that somebody purchased. So I've got a number of videos up there and you can go ahead and check them out at your own leisure. Give me ghoul, that's cool. I like that guy. Whimsor, and we've got a Forslas. EX. So that's our first EX. We're going to go ahead and put him aside. I really love the art on these um, Scarlet Violet cards. And you know what? We'll actually put him up here. Right like that. There we go. These packs are really, really, really like easy to open surprising we we'll actually get a real Pokemon card and just line them up and see what's happening but hey I did buy it from a trusted reputable seller on amazon.com and it was shipped to me pretty decently packaged and I went ahead and inspected the outside so all the cards here should be legit $120 legit Cloth, Luxurious Cape, Cyclozar, Wiglet, Vanillite, and a Garnacle. Let's set that Garnacle aside down here. I need to bring my trash can a little bit closer. Okay, let's pick one from the far back of the box itself. And we've got a, I just want to make sure that my, okay, yeah, we're, we've got music in the background, just making sure. All right, so let's go ahead and put our metal energy to the top. And we've got a basic Zubat, Natu, Perlian, Mianfu, Cloth, Luxurious Cape, another Cyclozar, another Zubat, and we've actually got a Minum special art. And we have, after that, a Gordon. All right. That was from the back of the box. Now I'm going to be trying from the center-ish of the box. As you can see here. I'm going to try from here. This one. And that is a Roaring Moon. So let's go ahead and see what the Roaring Moon pack has to offer. Take that there card, put it over there. This one in front. Let's go ahead and see. We've got Fire plus C 
Dotler, Toxel, Liper, Tinkaton, Durant. We've got an Earthen Vessel, Perleon, Low Kicks, and a Chien Pao Legendary Pokemon. This is an actually cool Pokemon. I use it in. I think I use it in the Scarlet version. So let's try from the front again, and this time we'll do another Roaring Moon. Yeah, all the cards in my TCG shop, they are the 2000, like, I think 1997 to like 2004 is when I was collecting them uh, during high school. And uh, I got a lot of them through trades, a lot of them through local tournaments. And it was really fun. I had a lot of good friends during that time. Uh, you know, God bless them wherever they are. I hope that they're doing well. And I hope that they're still collecting. Defense Vest, Hone Edge, Gilgar, and a Zekrom, another legendary Pokemon. Cool. All right, we're gonna go back right and we're gonna open up the iron valiant packet i really like the art on these cards some of the art is top tier pretty amazing stuff got a basic energy a gold bat a larry a Yamask, Circuit, Defense Fest, Defiance Fest, Durant, Technical Machine, Vanillish, Oracoco, and we've got a Roaring Moon EX. Awesome. It'll get in the pack there. So far, so good. So I actually want to go ahead and pull something up here. I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. So I just wanted to go ahead and clear some stuff off the way and just pull up something so I know what I'm looking for in terms of top 10. But we're going to start with this hack. All right, this, this feels similar to like what I experienced with the Temple Forces box. The pack will seem like it was like super glued or something. Set that aside. That up here. We've got some Psychic Energy. We've got Magby. We have Vanilla or Coco, Slabu, Tatsugiri. Dondozo, Tulip, Charcadet, one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh, and we have gotten an Iron Hands EX Full Art. Nice. And behind that, we have a Lokix. Another Pokemon that I use inside of uh, Violet, actually. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna put that one right in the middle. Right here. Roaring Moon, you can move over. There we go. All right. Let's start off with our next pack, which is gonna be another one of these. I, I think these ones are gonna be really lucky. I don't know, I'm gonna go through the whole thing. If I pull something good out of this one, I'm gonna go through the whole thing and check these ones out primarily. So we have a Red Coco, Honage, Horsey, Trainer, Screamtail, Iron Bundle, Tandem Mouse, Toad School. We have an S. Hathra. And of course, I forgot to take out those two, so that's what we're gonna get. Pretty cool so far. Okay, let's do front serilage. I think I mispronounced his name. Oh well. 
I don't know all of them. I mean, come on, it's been years. I'm a little bit older. And there's like, what, 900 or so Pokemon out there. So we've got Basic Energy. We've got Trubbish. We've got Gimigool. Wiglet. Jirachi. Who is a legendary Pokemon, but is a common card here. Steeny. Countercatcher. That might be worth something. Toxel. Vanilla Flux. And a Toxtricity EX. I like the new cards that are like, kind of like metallic and granular, I would say. Awesome. So we're going to put that right there. There we go. Move my camera back a little bit. And then we're going to go with another one of these packs. Okay, so what do we got? We have... Basic Energy Fire, Bon Sweet, Phoebus, Ipom, Galavantula, Manirior, Singapore, Zabraska, Golbat, Minum, and Zacian. So Zacian is actually a really nice card. I did play uh, Sword and Shield. I did play the Sword version of the game. Let's see if we have any more of those packs in here. Yes, we do. We have one right here. I don't know, what do you think the odds are based on? Go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I think that they're based on the ability to have a certain amount of specific art packs inside of the box itself. So like opening up all these might guarantee one. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a sort system there. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like this video and comment. And uh, we'll go ahead and support us. Thank you very much. Oh, I saw something shiny back there. Basic energy. We've got an Onyx. We've got a Tinka Tink. We've got another Charcadet. We've got a Flittle. An Absol. A Simi Sage. Norman. Mill Tink. And we've got the Toad School Full Art. And behind that is a Wo Chien. So nice, we've got a legendary Pokemon and a Full Art. I thought the quests for these Pokemon were kind of lame. I think the, the best ones that had evolutionary differences were the best. And that was like... Um, the Prime Ape variant that was able to, you know, you have to use like a move so many times and then bam, he evolves into his ghost form. Gosh, I can't even remember that. It's been so long. And I've been making videos. And I don't, I think it's because I've been playing uh, Violet more than Scarlet. I do have that Pokemon. But anyway, let's continue opening these packs. They've been pretty good to us so far. I did go to the, uh, through my town and go to like the dollar store and the local, uh, see, was it Walgreens and stuff like that. And try to look for some Evolving Skies packs. I did find one store that had them. And, uh, unfortunately it was only one pack, but... Yeah, I didn't pull anything great out of that. And I was hoping for the Moonbreon, Larry, Yamask, Circuit. Oh my goodness, I see another one of those types of hollow foils. Professor Turo, Mian Shao, Ipom, and it is a Armor Rouge. Full art. 
Nice, EX. Well, not full art, but you know what I mean. It's art extends past the border itself. Still a very nice card. We're gonna go ahead and stick that right there. I used to trade those guys. I used to trade those guys uh, when I was playing when it launched last year. And I was trading them off to people and people were trading everything else back. All right, we got one more. Armor Rogue, not Sirledge, Armor Rogue, that's what it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that right there. Basic Grass Energy. Oh my goodness, I saw another one. This must have been a lucky Paradox Rift Box. Artillery, Evolution, Dotler, Coco, and we have a Melodic. No idea who you are, buddy. But you know what? That's only... Oh yeah, that has a star on it. I'm just focusing on you right there. There it is. Okay. Great. Any more of those packs left in here? I think we may have opened all of those. But, not to worry, we got plenty more where that came from. Oh, we got one more. Look at that. Jeez, at this point, how many is that? I'll put it up on screen and then we'll start working through all the uh, guard chomp. Everybody likes guard chomp. I don't like guard chomp. He's annoying actually. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Basic lightning energy. Panda Mouse, Toad School, Toxel, Tinkaton, Durant, Earth Vessel, Onyx, that's a cool looking car, Crystal, and Mousehold EX. Telling you, those Armor Rouge packs, man, they're packing some heat. Look at that. All out of like the Armor Rouge. And it started with Iron Hands. And went on to get all those. So that's nice. And there was like two regular. I think there was like Zashian, Wochin, Low Kicks. But of those, they were paired with uh, Full Arts. So that's cool. So let's go ahead and open up all the Garchomp. Call him Garchomp. All right, basic energy, Spinda, Nimble, Elekid. It's good to see baby Pokemon back in the game. Durant, Technical Machine, Wug Trio, Snorunt, Simsage, and a Kingdra. Why are they making Kingdra a thing again? Well, there's plenty of other Pokemon that deserve a rare card. Kingdra, we're not too enthused about you, but this one, Simisage, looks pretty cool, you ask me. I wonder what the full art looked on this one. Probably pretty awesome. Okay, next pack. And I'm gonna document this too, so even if I have to dig through all my trash over here and see how much uh, guard chomps are there, we're gonna keep track of how much is coming out pool wise from these packs. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a decent amount. We're gonna win here today. We're gonna win here pretty good. Especially for those uh, full arts. Those full arts, I'm an artist and I totally respect the art that went into these cards. Like I said, some of the art in these cards is really spectacular. Simisir, Crobat, 
Orc, Sawbill, Tinka Tink, and Palkia. Got Palkia. This Pokemon is. I don't know why everyone's so like hyped up about it. I think Zekrom is a way cooler looking Pokemon than Palkia. And watch me as I just mess everything up around here. But it's okay. That's what we have all these room for. Let's go ahead and get the next couple of packs for our train. there just up front and let's look at the basic energy pan sage minimum snore run we've got um knuckle stack crocolar that dude snorlax tink -a tink i don't know my head's just like thinking about a million and a half different other things but yes this is a card, I don't care if it's not worth much. I love Steelix. I've always used Steelix in every one of my games that I've had. Very good gar uh, card to have. We'll go ahead and put that right there. Just to take a look around at what we got. And this is what we got so far. Opening up the next. Let's go ahead and take a look. That one felt gritty. Gritty means something good. So let's go ahead and do Trubbish. Give a goal. Wiglet. Another one of these cool looking Absols. The new set is coming out in March. I mean, uh, May. So I'm thinking about picking up a couple boxes of that. Taking a look at what we find here. Deoxys. There's a lot of legendary Pokemon in this Paradox Rift. So far, what are we up to? We're up to one, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Seven total legendaries. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this over here and then I'm gonna separate them out because I want to go ahead and have all of the uh, Iron Valiants together because that is one of the rare, rarest cards in the whole set here. And it looks like we have the majority got four more packs of the Garchomp. Garchomp evolutionary line, whatever you want to call it. We got a basic energy. We've got a Knuckle, we've got a Nimble, we've got a Yan Mask, a Spinda, we've got a Orthworm, we've got a Toad School, we've got a Screamtail, a Joltik, a Punkaboo, and we have a Tingaloo. So that is the legendary Pokemon, another one. I'm going to add to our little pile here. Okay. So far, we've only gotten three full arts. And the last one, I think I've gotten like four, maybe five of them in one box. One of which was the uh, Gouging Fire EX, which is really nice. I'm gonna hang on to that one for a while. Glossopod. 
All right, it's kind of proving me right that we're not gonna get any EXs or anything like that out of the Garchomp. I just had a feeling about it. But I do need some more sleeves over here. Because regardless of the quality or whatever it is, always take care of everything that you guys get. It's how stuff retains its value over the years. And it might save your butt one day. And it's good to look back on these cards and think about all the old memories that you once had with individuals that you no longer have in your life right now. I know that sounds a little melancholy, but hey, you know, it's life. Growing apart is a part of life. Your mask, Rika, Gorgeist, Larry. Absol and Zatu. Oh, that's a thick. No, it just feels thick. It's weird. Okay, last Garchomp pack. I feel like all the fire is going to come from the uh, Iron Valiant pack. Or was it just the uh, Armor Rogue? Who knows, it's all chance. Until they actually discover that there is some sort of sorting system out there that knows exactly where a card is gonna be. I'm pretty sure everything is up to chance. Medical energy. Steeny. A Zatu, another Zatu, and a Hone Edge. And after that, another Kingdra. Again, it's got to be a Misty's Kingdra. I wonder where, when they're going to bring back like those uh, gym heroes. That's what I want to know. Okay, so now we're going to start on the Roaring Moons, which I think are like a 50-50 per pack that you're going to get something really nice. I did pull out something really nice earlier in the video. But we've got a Psychic Energy... And I actually need to move all of this stuff over here. Over here to the sort pile so I can have some room to work. Yeah, it's just stuff falling everywhere. Oh, no, don't show me what's at the end. Did you guys see that? I didn't see that. Let's see. Iron Bundle, Bound Sweets, Deoxys, and an Age Slash. Okay, and then there goes my phone telling me, you have 8 gigabytes left, oh my god. Alright, that is still a rare, so that's cool. And it's the same art as that one, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we have... Let's call it fire. Nope. Darkness energy. Move you out of the way. Oregon, Cedra, Tetsugiri, Dodonzo, Tulip. We've got an Iron Moth. That is really cool. I'm gonna put that right there. That is a rare card. Lipart and a Morpeko. We want the Morpeko full art. That is one that is in this set. The Iron Moth is pretty cool too. It's actually a pain in the butt to catch in uh, area zero. I was trying to catch one the other night to complete my Pokedex. And I think I threw like nine or ten, maybe twelve ultra balls at that darn thing and then I go to check out its EVs and IVs and it's like decent decent I'm like, well why this thing so damn hard to catch it's ridiculous Nacelle Parasol Lady we would like the Art Parasol Lady Octillery Orthworm Nian Shao Trubbish Octillery again 
and King Lu. Okay. The next. I like buying boxes versus buying packs or singles. It's because you get way more opportunity to pull some nice stuff like that in the back. And it costs less. Counter Catcher, Manure, Jirachi, and a Thievil. Two more packs of the Roaring Moon left. Basic Energy, Crustal, Onyx, Flittle, Nicket, Absol, Simsage, Norman, Tinglu again, Natu again. And uh, Yevital or Evital. Then we're gonna have to go through these full arts and see which one is our card, which is gonna make us break. E Ooh, I see something back there, but then that's probably just the rare that's in every pack manure manure <laughs> Simipore, super striker uh, tinker tinker tough feebas and porygon z awesome okay now we're going to be starting in on all of the iron valiant packs Again, we want to see a Gimme Ghoul EX, we want to see Mela, we want to see the Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon. Those would be really awesome. So far we've opened up quite a few duds from the... What pack was that? That was the Roaring Moon and the Garchomp. You're buying Paradox Rift? Stay away from those packs. I don't think they're they're no bueno. I mean, look at all these rares, regulars that I've gotten out of that whole thing. Pumpkaboo, Ferrothorn. Right off the bat, I know these cards are drastically different than the other ones we've been pulling. And look at that. Ageless, age slash EX out of the Iron Valiant pack. So you want to open up these and you want to open up the Armor Robe packs. I think they have the best odds. Okay. So we got some Electric Energy, Panseer, Nicket, Gilgar, Blitbug, Veluza, Chantal, Garbador, Weeble, Wimpod, and we got Chantel, full art. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's all about the Iron Valiant and the Armor Rogue packs. But that's probably where they put the Roaring Moon and the uh, Iron Valiant full art. The cards that cost like 50 and 90 bucks. But I am well, well open to being surprised here in the next, what is it? Four packs left. Flamingo, Oregon, Cedra, Rika, Gorgeist, Sada's Vitality, Dublade, Nasil, and Volcanion. Okay, getting down to the last of this, 
And if you made it this far, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, and that would be very much appreciated. And tell your friends about it too if they like unboxing videos. They can see what the odds are. It's a good education tool just to kind of see, okay, if I invest my money into this, what is the possibility of the outcomes? Luxurious cape, holofoil. Ooh, look at that. All right, Garnacle and Latios. And we forgot to take out those cards. But we've got a full art. I'm telling you, Iron Valiant and Armor Rogue, they have the best pull chances. So if you're over here buying Garchomp and Roaring Trash, you kind of know what's going on there. Okay, basic energy. Trubbish. Wiglet. Technical machine. Wimpod. Norman. And an Iron Hands EX. Nice. Okay, last two packs. Last two packs. Come on, can we get... Can we get the Gimme Ghoul or the Mela or the Iron Valiant? Let's find out. The Blade, Mill Tank, Wimpod, and be Palm Snorlock, Snorlox, more Petco, Uchian, and another Iron Moth. So that's two Iron Moths, and these are actually rare. So there were three rares in this pack. That's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Iron Moth in the sleeve. Last pack. Let's go ahead and check this out. I just want to place a warning out there. If you guys are going to box.gg, you are going to lose your money. I know I put a video short out there where I pulled a felt hat Pikachu. And I just want to tell you guys that when doing deeper research on that box.gg, that there is a guaranteed 95 to 97% loss rate, which means that if you play the game, yeah, you might either win your money back for another pool or you might just flat out lose everything parasol lady and we've got a chi yu you know what funny sorry chi yu in our language here at taz pueblo actually means a mouse so some food for thought and there is parasol lady so that's it that's been the entire box i need to get a couple of more sleeves out here so I can put some stuff away and I'll go ahead and show you what we pulled okay out of all those pulls the majority of our pulls came from the armor rogue as well as the iron valiant pack arts so out of those these are the majority for armor rouge and let's go ahead and see it's toxicity we've got roaring moon ex we got a Frost Slash EX. We've got a Full Art Minim. As well as a Full Art Iron Hands EX, which is a rare card and very nice. This is a decent, moderately priced Toad Scroll. As well as the Chantal. We've got an H Slash EX. An Armor Rogue EX. A mouse hold EX. We've got a couple of Iron Moth EXs. One is a reverse hull of well. And the last two is we got a Garnacle full art as well as an Iron Hands EX. And that's been my video. Thank you very much for joining me again.